Now we're going to go on to our next song. Okay, this is called, and his lyrics, I mean, the song tiles are so expressive. Oh my God, it's amazing to me. Um, what's the use? Now, like a lot of rappers, like a musicians in general, I shouldn't just say rappers, some of the songs have a video, some of the songs don't have a video. If they did, I referenced the video, uh, but Hurt Feelings did not, and neither does What's the Use. There's no video. There is a bass line that he uses, a kind of bouncy, but he was a very talented musician in general, so I'm not surprised at different genres of music that he's playing with. Here it goes from here. Third song, What's the Use? And again, we're looking at six, 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 six signs now, besides including mental health. What are the, the other five? The physical, the social, the environmental, the emotional, and the spiritual. So again, the total picture of an individual and what they're going through. So I'm so above from beyond, you take drugs to make it up. And where up where are we on way up where we're on space shuttle elon elon musk because of the space uh, that he's fired into the satellites into space i am not able to connect without them i'm so above from beyond you take drugs to make it up i need stimulus to get me going and then all the way in with no exit plan already left and the jet don't land yeah the time is ticking he's saying to me is living day to day Moment to moment, nothing long term. I am flying with no parachute, time to feel normal and stable. And then, on the flip side, it says to me, you can love it, you can leave it and say you're nothing without it. Don't let them give you hell. What if I don't need it? There's something about it that just freaks me out. And these were soaring vocals here. And to me, it screams about his substance abuse issues. You can love it, you can leave it. And say you're nothing without it. In other words, I can be high, I can be sober. You need the high to fit in. And if not, you don't fit in. Where is the self-confidence of somebody to just be yourself? I went into, I uh, had lunch today with some of my coworkers. And they were talking about my, my dance skills. And everyone was chiming in how Bruce goes when he dances at some kind of function. He doesn't have any, doesn't have any insecurities about it. Am I... Believe me, I know Dancing with the Stars, let's be honest. But if I'm there, I'm going to enjoy myself, and people pick up on that, that sense of self-confidence. I'm here to have a good time. I'm going to have a good time. How people perceive it is up to them. That's something I want you people to start, who are watching this video to start picking up on is get that self-confidence. And I and explore that. You need to feel that you belong, that you belong in, 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 in the music business, in, in high school, playing on a team, you know, doing a hobby, meeting new people. I, I can't do it. I'm going to make the mic messed up. But you forgot to feel that you belong, that you're part of the crowd. And that self and that doesn't happen overnight. I'm not making I'm not making light of that, light of that, but that's a direction you have to go in. And he goes, I just want another minute with it. Blank up little, what's the use? Yeah, one last time. One last time. One last time. One last time leads to an accidental overdose because you just don't know when to put the brakes on and you know eventually it's going to come back to bite you in the butt and again we're just focusing now on select lines and highlighting them because i'm done with the song but i want to go back to now is this goes back to an understanding that when people tell you things it's generally the opposite of how they're really feeling i'm great with the opposite sex i'm great with the ladies People think I'm amazing. Oh, I can handle my alcohol and drugs. I'm a pro with this kind of stuff. The thing to realize is that if you had self-confidence in yourself, you would not have to make these statements in the first place anyway. Because if you have confidence, you don't got to say it. It's, it, it you, you accept it in your own mind and people around you accept it as well. That's what I want people to start to understand is that when you say these things, I'm like, I'm realizing, oh, yeah, yeah, I got no problem with the job. I got no problem with my boss. I got no problem with my kids. They all love me. Everyone thinks I'm great. Uh, I do a fantastic job. You're telling me the exact opposite by having to make those statements. Anyone that plays any kind of sports, if you got to convince yourself, oh, I'm a good athlete, I'm a good wide receiver, I'm a good third baseman, I'm a good shortstop, I'm a great power forward, no one can stop me, I'm amazing, you're basically saying to yourself, you feel the exact opposite. Because if you have the confidence, you go onto the court 
onto the ball field and do what you have to do. Learn to listen to what the person is really saying. Mac and everyone else is quite loud and clear. But when you slow down, don't be afraid to go for the money shot. What's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Do you feel like hurting yourself? Are you feeling suicidal? And you seem out of it. Be a real friend. And that's something about the social aspect uh, I want to really want to hone in on for this one is what is your social outlook? What are your friends? Are they real friends or are they just fake friends? Are they friends that are there because you have money, because you have drugs, because you have status? Are they there when you're not up? That's easy. When you're down. When, you know, you didn't get this happened to you. You didn't get the job you wanted. You didn't get the girl you wanted. You know, things did not go well. It's like, well, I can't do the table. I'm going to knock the mic. i sorry. So knock, 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 knock. Visualization. Visualize I'm knocking on the door, okay? So knock, 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 knock. Are you okay? You didn't make the team. Knock, 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 knock. I heard your girlfriend broke up with you. Your boyfriend broke up with you. Knock, 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 knock. Hey, I heard about your parents, man, getting separated. Are you okay? Knock, 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 knock. Introduce yourself. Invite yourself in. And then when you're in the house, we're talking to your friend at school or at work. Where's their head? How do they look to you? Are they groggy? Man, I haven't been sleeping. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. You know, I'm so upset. You know, what's the physical environment? A lot of yelling in the house. A lot of screaming in the house. With kids, I see this all the time. That physical aspect is what gives them that mental health issue because they're in, around cuckoo. Okay, that's what I want to kind of clarify for this one is to start being aware of what you're seeing and to be more focused and to go after it. Thank you.